Hey y'all, thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Julie, this is the Retro Apron Cooking Channel. If this is your first time here and you're interested in easy, delicious recipes on a weekly basis, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, give this video a thumbs up. Today we're fixing Mexican street corn in a cup. It is so easy and absolutely delicious. You're gonna love it and it's the perfect side for a 4th of July picnic. It's gonna have your friends and family thinking you're some kind of phenomenal cook, even if you're not, we're gonna trick them, okay? So let's do it. We're gonna cut our burner on high and add one cup of water and two tablespoons of sugar. We're gonna let that come to a boil and then we're gonna add our corn. Our water has come to a boil. Now we're gonna add in two cups or 16 ounces of frozen corn. We're gonna let this cook for about three to five minutes. While that's cooking, we're gonna fix our sriracha mayo. You're gonna to wanna to take a quarter cup of mayo, a quarter cup of sour cream, dash of salt, a little squeeze of fresh lime juice, and just about a quarter of a teaspoon of sriracha. Obviously, if you like it really spicy, go ahead and add as much as you want. Thoroughly combine that. Our corn is thoroughly cooked. Now we're gonna drain it. We're gonna let our corn cool for about three to five minutes, and then we're gonna add in the sriracha mayo. All right, folks, we are almost finished. Our corn has cooled. We're gonna add in our sriracha mayo. We're so close to being finished, it's almost ridiculous. Stir that together. A really cute way to serve this is in little baby mason jars if you have any, or you could use little clear plastic cups as well, but I didn't have any and I happen to have these, so we're using them. We're just gonna sprinkle a little chili powder on top, a little fresh chopped cilantro, how cute is that? And the cool thing is, it took you less than 15 minutes to fix, and it's delicious. Oh my goodness, I almost forgot. We need to put a little bit of queso fresco on top, so let me just go ahead and shred a little bit. We'll sprinkle that on top, and then we'll be finished. Here we go, the finished product looks absolutely phenomenal. Can't wait to taste it. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Well, there we are. Another delicious recipe in the books. For the exact measurement and ingredients, make sure you drop down below or head on over to my Instagram page, The Retro Apron, all one word. It'll be listed there as well. Thank y'all so much for stopping in today. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it so much. See you next time. Bye-bye.